Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm Sam, creative director for Rococo. And in this video, we're gonna be going through quickly and hopefully efficiently everything you need to know to participate and get started with the new Rococo animation challenge, Rococo TV. So this is similar to the other challenges you've probably seen in the CG community. You know, we're challenging you to create seven seconds of animation in this case. We're gonna put all the animations together in a big montage at the end. We have a bunch of different prize categories where you can win, and we're gonna go through all of that in this video. First, we're gonna cover where you can find information about the challenge. Then we're gonna go through some of the rules that I think have been a little bit confusing for people and the requirements. We're gonna talk about where you can find Rococo motion capture to use for this challenge, especially if you do not have Rococo hardware, which is totally fine. This challenge is designed that anyone can participate for free. You don't need mocap hardware at all. A lot of people won't have it and they're participating because they wanna win some mocap hardware, right? So we're gonna go through all that. And then also I'm gonna briefly talk about where you can find educational resources to help you use the motion capture data that you're gonna be using, whether it's mocap that we're providing, whether it's free mocap from the motion library, whether it's AI motion capture that you're making with Rococo Vision, all of that. Okay, so let's get started. So firstly, you can find all the information about the challenge. If you go to rococo.com, we have this banner up here where you can register. But if you also go to community, you see Rococo TV right here, click on that. And this is our main landing page for the challenge. So most of the answers to your questions will probably be found here. The challenge runs from December 5th to January 29th. So you have 48 days left, plenty of time. And if you look at the categories, we have a best render category, five winners in that, a best breakdown category. So you can enter both categories and there's gonna be three winners in the best breakdown category. Community favorites, three winners in there. And that's designed so that, you know, beginners maybe who have a really great idea can still win some incredible prizes. And then finally, a raffle prize. So just for submitting, you're gonna be entered into a raffle. And again, the goal here is to get mocap gear out to as many people as we can. And we want beginners, you know, as well as experts to have a, a shot at winning some really awesome, you know, mocap suit gear. Okay, let's talk about some of the things that I've been getting a few questions about that I wanna go over uh, first. First of all, mandatory use of a Rococo mocap tool or asset, right? This is a Rococo motion capture challenge. For the best render, you're gonna be judged on, you know, the best use of character animation using Rococo motion capture. And we're gonna go through places that you can find Rococo motion capture. If you don't own Rococo hardware, which is gonna be most people, but there's plenty of free mocap that we're providing that you can find, we're gonna go through that. But you do need to, you know, that needs to be the focus of your entry, right? You can't use a Rococo mocap take and put the character way in the background. No, right? The focus really needs to be on character animation using Rococo motion capture. You know, it's a Rococo mocap contest. That, that's what we're focused on. So it can't be some just, you know, dynamic simulation of a grain sim that's, you know, just using noise and turbulence and just looks really cool. That's not gonna work. It has to be character animation based using Rococo mocap or Rococo tools. So I think that's important, first of all. Secondly, if we go up to submission requirements, I've been getting a couple questions on a few of these that I wanna go over. Um, a lot of them, you know, should be self-explanatory. Seven seconds for the best render category, right? At 24 frames a second, so it's 168 frames. Best breakdown, the breakdown entry is between seven and 20 seconds. One thing that people have had questions about is that in a previous version of these rules, we said that you, it had to be a clean render and that you know it couldn't include any uh, graphical overlays or anything like that. You can totally include graphical overlays. If you're doing a play on like a home shopping network, I would put graphical overlays like all over that, right? That would be part of the humor. I would put funny little Easter eggs in there and stuff. You can do color correction, you can do things in comp, you know, you can do all of that stuff. That really just referred to that you can't add personal or social watermarks, right? It needs to be a clean render in that regard. Your entry needs to be 
clean, you know, so that we can feature it and it doesn't have like a watermark all over it. The other thing that I've been getting questions on is the delivery must include a screen recording of your motion capture take. And we clarified this. Essentially, we need to be able to know that you're using Rococo motion capture. So we're gonna be asking for you to do a screen recording. And you know, if you're in Blender, it would be a recording of your screen with Blender open, showing just the mocap playing, right? And if you're using pre-made assets, like the free assets that we're providing, or a free asset from the motion library, or a paid asset from the motion library, we're gonna ask that you just specify the file name of that asset. And again, that's just because we need to make sure that you are using Rococo motion capture and not like a Mixamo animation as your main mocap piece. Now, if your main, you know, focus of your entry is Rococo motion capture, can you have like a Mixamo character dancing in the background? Sure, you know, or a Mixamo character walking by? Sure, that's fine. But the, the main focus of your entry, it needs to be made you know, with Rococo motion capture, whether you're creating it, whether it's a pre-made asset, you know, this is a Rococo contest. <laughs> All that being said, where do you get motion capture if you do not have Rococo hardware? And there's a couple different places that you can do that. Um, if you go back to this mandatory use of a Rococo tool or asset, you can use Rococo hardware. If you already have a Rococo SmartSuit Pro 2 or Smart Gloves or our facial motion capture hardware uh, system, you know, using Rococo facial, facial motion capture, the, the app and, and the, our software, you can use those, of course. That's a great way to do it. You can also use Rococo Vision. So if you click on this link or, or go to vision.rococo.com and we'll have links down in the description below, that will, that will also, uh, you know, direct you to the, to Rococo Vision. This is a video based AI solution that just uses a webcam and you can make your motion capture with that, right? You can go in and do mocap editing on top of any Rococo mocap asset that you have. Um, but that's a great place to make motion capture yourself, you know, especially if you were going to be entering the breakdown category as well. It's fun to make the mocap yourself and show that whole process, right? So you could make your own mocap. Again, that is completely free for the single camera uh, AI mocap solution, Rococo AI mocap solution. We also have a dual uh, camera AI mocap solution. If you're already a Rococo Plus subscriber, you have access to that. Um, but you can also do the 14 day free trial if you just want to get a taste of it. It uses two webcams or it can use your iPhone and your webcam. And it's a very solid way of making motion capture. And it's going to be better than the single cam solution. Um, but that, that's another way you can make it, right? Another great place to find mocap is in the Rococo Motion Library. So if you go and download Rococo Studio, which you can do completely for free, it's in the studio uh, tab at rococo.com, download it for free. You just need to sign up for a Rococo ID and then you can play around in Rococo Studio to your heart's content. We have free sample scenes. You could use the mocap from there, but you can also, this is the home page of Rococo Studio here. If you go to Motion Library, we actually have an entire mocap marketplace built into Rococo Studio. And there's a bunch of, you know, assets. If they don't load, you just need to hover your mouse over them. We have a ton of assets that you can purchase. Some of them more expensive than others, you know. Maybe you want to spend $3. It's a huge library, right? If you find the perfect asset, you want to pay for it, then you can do that. But you can also go to view all. And look, if we just sort by free, there's a bunch of free assets on here, you know, some great fun dances. We've got some attacking assets and, um, you know, idols and things like that. So you can use you know, like backflip here. You can use any of these assets as well, right? And that will count as using a Rococo mocap asset. So the motion library is a great place to look for some mocap to use for your entry. Now, finally, we also have pre-made assets that I've been making in the live streams over the last couple years and specifically for this contest on our free resources page. So if we go to the free resources page, which again, you can, if you go to rococo.com, you go to resources, 
free 3D assets will take you there or from the landing page of, of the contest. You can see we have this animation challenge. Um, animations, and these are 32 animations I made in the last live stream. I've, I've exported Mixamo skeleton versions, Human IK skeleton versions, and then also Unreal Engine uh, compatible skeleton versions as well. And so you can use any of these assets for your motion capture. But then also if we go back to the free resources, we have a bunch of other you know, assets that have been made uh, over the years. Walking Dead, you know, we've got a bunch of zombie assets. Um, not all of these assets though, because they were made previously um, and before we even had like an Unreal Engine export option, some of them won't be for ready for Unreal Engine. Uh, this one, for example, is just a Mixamo skeleton and you might have difficulty importing it into Unreal. So some of these might not work for you depending on what software you're using, but all of this content can be used uh, for your submission, right? And these are all free assets and we're gonna be making more of them on our weekly live streams as the uh, contest continues on, right? You still got 42 days. We'll probably make like a sitcom pack in the next live stream, so more will be coming. And a good way to find out when we release those assets is if you go back to the landing page for the contest and you register to participate with your email, we'll be sending out emails when we have new mocap that's free for you to go and download, right? So any of those methods are a good way for you to obtain Rococo motion capture that you can use completely for free in your submission for the contest. Okay, now that that's done, I wanna go through all of the educational resources for all the different softwares, depending on what you're looking to do. So if we go to YouTube, we have a great YouTube channel. I'm gonna go to the YouTube channel here. I'm a little blasted out, sorry, in my little corner down here. But we have a ton of educational resources on our YouTube channel. First of all, I was talking about using Rococo Vision, uh, our free AI motion capture solution to create your motion capture. If you wanna know how to use Rococo Vision, come to our YouTube channel, type in Vision, here you go. I have a whole walkthrough that goes through the entire process of using Rococo Vision. This is for our dual AI motion capture situation, um, but we also have you know, free AI mocap tool tutorial. Here we go. This is for our single camera uh, AI mocap tool. And these will teach you everything you need to know about how to use our, again, free AI motion capture tool to create motion capture if you want to go down that road. But what if you want to know about how to use Rococo motion capture? Now, a lot of people, this might be their first experience ever using Rococo mocap, right? Or any mo motion capture for that matter. And we have spent a ton of time creating tutorials to help people figure out how to use motion capture in their workflows. So I'm gonna go through some of those tutorials now for each of the different uh, software platforms. And really, if you go to the Rococo YouTube channel, the place you wanna go is this ultimate retargeting workflow. There'll be a link down in the description below. If we go here, we have different workflows for all the major software. Um, and we'll start with Maya. Let's start with Maya. So in this Maya tutorial, we go through how to import a custom character, how to do character definition, and then also how to do um, mocap editing, which it actually is really easy to do in Maya. It's really easy to create a full body IK system to do mocap editing in Maya. And it's actually the best of all the software at mocap retargeting. Now, obviously Maya is a smaller community, so this won't apply to many of you, but here is where I would start if you're working in Maya uh, with Rococo motion capture. This should really answer all of your questions. And if you, if you have something that can't be answered in this workflow, put a comment down below. I'm monitoring all the comments and I, I'll try to get to yours and, and give you the answers that you need. So let's move on to the next one. What if you're in Cinema 4D? Well, we have a great Cinema 4D 
workflow as well. Now Cinema 4D um, has some great retargeting tools for motion capture, but it's not really the best system. It's a little bit more limited. It's more difficult to create editing rigs to do IK mocap editing. However, I go through in this tutorial, if you're using a Mixamo character, how to create an IK motion capture rig for your character so that you can do any editing that you might need to do. Um, but that being said, you know, Cinema 4D, it's a little bit trickier to do mocap editing. It's very easy to do, to just get your mocap animation onto your character. But when it comes to editing, it can be a little bit trickier. So I would be prepared um, to, to, you know, have to work through some issues. But if you're just trying to do retargeting, you can follow this tutorial and it should teach you everything that you need to know. Okay, next up, we got Blender. So this is a great tutorial that goes through um, how to do retargeting in Blender, like the other ones, right? It's called Ace Retargeting in Blender with this simple workflow. And in this video, we go through how to do basic retargeting using the free Rococo Blender uh, motion capture plugin. And you can find information about where that plugin is and how to install it in this video. But then we also use a couple other plugins in this video that are fantastic when it comes to motion capture and especially motion capture editing in Blender. Um, one of them is the, the animation layer plugin. That's a great plugin. And I've got them listed all in the description of this Blender video. We've got the uh, animation layers add-on, not plugin, which is available. It's a paid plugin on the Blender Marketplace. We've got the Mixamo, Mixamo Control Rig add-on. Um, if you're using a Mixamo character, I go through a workflow in this video about how to do Mixamo uh, IK uh, motion capture editing. The Cats plugin, it's a free plugin. It's great at making sure that your character is in a T pose instead of an A pose. And again, I go through all of that in this video and then the Rococo Blender plugin. So this video will teach you how to do basic motion capture, uh, basic FK mocap cleanup, and then also if you're using a Mixamo character, it will teach you how to do um, IK motion capture cleanup as well. And we, we cover that at the end of this tutorial. Now I will say when it comes to Blender, if we go back to the Rococo YouTube channel, and we go to live, I did a really great, I won't say it was a really great live stream, but I had a live stream recently. It's called Auto Rig Blender Mocap, Auto Rig Pro Blender Mocap Workflows. And I went through in this live stream, a tutorial about how to do IK motion capture cleanup when it comes to custom characters that aren't Mixamo. So say you have a character creator character or a Daz character, or even if you've exported a metahuman out and something that is not based on a Mixamo skeleton. In this live stream, I go through an Auto Rig Pro workflow for creating IK mocap um, control rigs to help you clean up your motion capture. Now, Auto Rig Pro is a paid plugin, so it's not free. A bunch of these plugins that we use for Blender aren't free. They're fantastic plugins. It's great to support Blender. Uh, the Blender community, and you know, it's it's on the Blender marketplace, and these are really fantastic plugins, but they're not free. But if you're interested in pursuing how to learn about doing IK mocap editing for Blender um, that is not a Mixamo character or Mixamo skeleton, you can check out this live stream and it should hopefully have some answers for you. And again, I'll have a link to this live stream down in the description below. Let's talk about iClone and Reillusion. So a bunch of our community works in iClone and Reillusion. And again, in this retargeting playlist, we have a iClone tutorial. And it kind of goes over everything you should need to know about uh, retargeting an iClone. And it's actually super simple to do retargeting an iClone. You essentially just drag an FBX onto your character. And it's very easy to do to get the mocap on the character, but then also to do some uh, basic mocap editing. iClone actually has these amazing tools when it comes to doing mocap editing, and a lot of it is more automated than a lot of the other software. So I go through how to do that in this tutorial, 
And then we also go through how to add things. Like this is a great workflow where I used um, Rococo Video. So again, our free AI motion capture tool. I made some basic motion capture using it. Rococo Video doesn't have hand and it doesn't have facial motion capture. But with iClone, you can import in your mocap and then you can use things like, uh, you know, hand gesture puppeteering. So look, I'm controlling these hands live and adding a little bit more of interest when it comes to the hand motion capture. Um, you know, on top of the mocap that I recorded in Rococo video. So iClone has a bunch of interesting workflows. It also has its own facial motion capture solution. If you have that already, feel free to use that. You can use the iClone facial motion capture tool with Rococo body motion capture. That's fine. You don't have to use all Rococo, but you do have to, it has to be a big part of the main focus of your, you know, of your submission, right? It just, but you can use, if, if you want to use iClone's facial motion capture, go for it. Our facial motion capture doesn't work in iClone. So if you want to add facial mocap to an iClone character in iClone, you really have to use their solution. So that's totally fine. You can do that. Um, and so hopefully this tutorial should solve any questions that you have um, about about those iClone workflows. Let's get to the to the one that I think a lot of people will be super interested in, and that is the Unreal retargeting tutorial. So we recently released two big new tutorials for Unreal. One of them focuses on how to do basic retargeting, uh, and that's this one, the Unreal mocap masterclass, body, fingers, and face retargeting. And we go through how to use, um, how to import motion capture. Um, it has to, for, to import motion capture into Unreal, it has to be, specifically kind of exported for Unreal in some cases. A lot of the free resources that we have, we go back to that free resources page. In the animation challenge pack, there's an Unreal specific, you can find Unreal skeleton versions of all the mocap animation we're doing. In some of these other ones, they, they weren't exported with meshes, which means some of them might not even import into Unreal. And then even if they do, they're not going to follow the very clean new workflow that we have um, when it comes to retargeting for Unreal, which is that in, in this video, I go through a method of getting your motion capture onto Unreal characters that doesn't use the new retargeting tools in Unreal. Um, so you won't be able to use that method if it isn't an Unreal specific export, like in that, that um, animation challenge specific pack that we released. Now, however, that doesn't mean that you can't also retarget uh, older motion capture. You're just gonna have to use the IK rig and the IK retargeter that was added to Unreal in UE5. And I go through that whole workflow in this video as well. It's a little bit more complicated, but it's very achievable. Here I'm using a Mixamo character and I just have to build a little IK rig and I, I go through the whole process in here. So you can totally use non Unreal specific exported Rococo motion capture, but it might be a little bit more complicated. Um, now, if you want to use a Rococo mocap for MetaHumans, we also released a whole MetaHuman tutorial recently. And um, it goes through the whole retargeting process again. It goes through live streaming to MetaHumans as well. And it also goes through how to record facial motion capture to MetaHumans. And again, if you want, as long as you're using the body mocap from Rococo, if you had a MetaHuman, you could use Unreal's built-in facial motion capture system to record the face, that's fine, right? The Rococo mocap just has to be a major part of the focus of your submission, but that doesn't mean you can't use Unreal's other tools, specifically their facial motion capture system, which is great and it works great with their metahumans. So you can kind of mix and match if you want. There's no rule against that, right? Um, but this is the video that you wanna start with if you are gonna be working with a metahuman. Uh, and it, it covers all sorts of things. It covers how to get, again, get Rococo facial motion capture in, 
It covers how to use MetaHuman Animator, which is their new offline facial motion capture system, which is amazing. And then we also cover how to add a MetaHuman head using this kind of hacky workflow that I have. You can see here, I've got a MetaHuman head that is attached to a custom body. So I go through that workflow as well in this video. So this is a great place to start if you're just, uh, if you're looking at using a MetaHuman in, in whatever way. Okay, so semi-efficient video, but hopefully this is a good place for you to start on this journey of submitting to this contest. And I think the other thing that I'll mention is I have a weekly live stream every Thursday at 11 a.m. PST on YouTube. I'm there live. We have a live chat. You can ask questions. Come hang out, ask workflow questions, get inspired. We're going to be making more motion capture live for people to use in the contest a couple, in, in a couple of the streams. So it's a blast. I encourage you to come join uh, if you have any questions, questions about the contest, questions about the workflows, whatever. The other place that you can go to get answers is the Rococo Discord. I will have a link to that as well down in the description below. The Rococo Discord, we have some fantastic mods. Shout out to Alberto Flores and Kana and the rest of the team on our, on our Discord. Also a ton of other Rococo users and you can get a lot of answers to some of your questions on the Rococo Discord. So that's another wonderful resource if you're having problems, if you're running into weird issues, I encourage you to go check out the Discord. It's also just a good Discord to be on, you know? It's fun. Um, it's, a, it's a good spot and it's filled with awesome creators. So, so that's another great place to check out if you're starting to run into issues. As I said, I tried to be efficient, but hopefully this was a good start on your journey for submitting to our contest. We're so excited to see what people come up with. And if you have more questions, put them in the comments below this video. I will go through and make sure to answer them because we don't want there to be any confusion. And thankfully you've still got 42 or what is it? 48. Let's go back. How many days do you have left? 48 more days, tons of time to submit uh, for the contest. And you know, I didn't go through it, but look at these judges we're going to have. We got Clint who's coming on. We got Ian Hubert. We got Tim Fox, who some people might not know, but animation director for The Mill. You should know The Mill. If you don't know Tim Fox, then you should know Tim Fox because he's amazing as well. I'll be hosting, but these three will be judging for the best render. And, uh, you know, I encourage you to submit for the best breakdown as well. Uh, you can have two bites of the apple and we really want to see people's process. And again, then we have community favorites. We got the raffle. And uh, hopefully we're going to get a bunch of mocap gear into people's hands and just spread some of the love. So put your questions down in the comments below and I will see you on the next live stream. 11 a.m. PST on Thursdays. Okay, good luck, everyone. I'll see you out there.